guys, welcome back to another plant video. So today I want to feature my angel wing, angel wing begonia. So I'm gonna show you. There you are. Look how big she is. And I just wanna share with you guys how I repot my angel wing begonia. So I have here a potting mix. I actually literally got this few minutes few minutes ago because I ran out of potting mix and luckily and luckily my husband is supportive so I asked him can you please buy me potting mix because I want to take video so yes that's what he did he went home and grabbed me a potting mix from the warehouse because that's the nearest shop that I could think of that has um, potting mix so anyway I wanna begin repotting. So this baby here, as you can see, the leaves are really really lush and it's almost like full grown. But look at her house, it's really tiny. And you can see some roots under there. So yeah, it's about time for her to graduate to her new home. So yes, but just wanna tell you some story about this angel wing begonia while I repot this. Wait, I'm gonna transfer this here. By the way, I'm using this stick or stake, should I say, because this one is really long and leggy, so you need something to hold on to it so it will be upright. Otherwise, it's so limpy, it will go sideways. So yes, let me move this towards me. I know I'm going to make a mess soon. But I will clean it up guys, so don't worry. So anyway, when I was just a, you know, when I was just starting to learn about all of these plants, I came across this video about um, angel wing begonia and she said, I remember she said, angel wing begonia is really difficult plant to manage and one of the finicky plants. So I was thinking, nope, I'm not gonna get one myself because as a beginner myself, I don't want to, you know, take risks and take these plants for granted and just experiment on it. So I don't want it to die on my hands. <laughs> so. Um, I was thinking, no, 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 I'm not gonna get that. But, fast forward a few months after, I saw this really, really cute little baby, little baby, little baby angel wing begonia in the shop, which is in Odorings, I think. So when I saw it, it was so cute and I just couldn't resist getting this angel wing begonia so I thought um, why not no just give it a try I might I might be able to let this baby thrive under my care so yeah that's what I did and I'm glad I did because look at her isn't she gorgeous she's just growing and growing and giving me so many new leaves look at this this is new leaves and there's heaps more. This one here on top. Oh, doesn't focus. The one on top is also growing. So that is really a good sign, guys. I am so, so, so happy because this plant is thriving under my care, which is I'm so proud of myself. I did this all by myself and to be honest, at first I was not really panicky when I got this because I'm thinking in my mind, in my mind I thought, oh, if this plant died, it's not my fault because I knew from the beginning that this is a really finicky plant or you know, difficult to handle, blah blah blah. So, I was not really panicky and I was just relaxed as a plant mama <laughs> so but i i water her once in a while i think 
during summertime, I water her once a week, as far as I remember. And then during winter days, I stopped watering her. And then I think once every two weeks or once every three weeks. I know it sounds awful, but it works. And before that, I want to show you. This is actually the base of her home. So I put this little pot here and she looks like that on that shelf. So I put her this spot here, there. And then you know why she has this big um, pot underneath? Because I put little stones with water in it. I hope you can see. So I just got these small rocks in our backyard and I put a little bit of water so the moisture will go in the plant and it will stay nice and moist so she will be happy. So that's what I learned and that's what I did from the beginning. And I found out that it really really works well. So guys if you have an angel wing begonia, you better do this trick. This trick goes a long way. So now I'm going to start for real. What I'm going to do is just squish it a bit, make the soil loose because you don't want to stress the root underneath, you don't want to stress the plant. So I will just, oh, before I do that, <laughs> I'm so not prepared. I got this recycled pot from my other plants so I always keep them because you know one day I might use them and now I'm gonna use it so I'll just put a little bit underneath so there halfway you cannot see because it's so dark anyway so I'll put this underneath and again I'll just tip this over by the way guys, it's springtime here in New Zealand, so for me, this is the best uh, time of the year that you can repot your babies, especially if the roots are, you know, showing. Yay! You see? You see the roots underneath? So yes. And what I'll do, just put it there and then press a little bit and don't forget my steak again because this one is really vital. So, what I'm afraid if I put this, this Thick, I'll break roots so I'll just try to loosen it up loosen up the soil just like so just a disclaimer guys I am not professional but I want to share the things that I, I learned from online and based on experience as well so I have handled plants before, so don't worry. I'm not gonna kill these. And I'll be honest, I have I have killed other plants. <laughs> not really killed, not on purpose, but it died under my care, so it was really, really sad. But anyway, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about this baby. You know what? The stick is too short for this plant because oh my god, she has grown. I'm so proud of you. So, na graduate na siya. I think I heard some crack. I think that's the root. Anyway, please don't die. Please don't die. Don't die on me. Okay, I think we're good. If I find if I find longer stick I will use that instead. So now that you're happy, if you're happy with the position, 
Fill in the gap. Fill up more soil. And then just compact. But not too packed. You know, slightly loose. Slightly loose. And make sure you don't fill the soil up to the rim because if you water it, all the soil will just fall out and it's annoying because it goes all over your sink. Napapagod ako dito sa ano. I should have got the smaller box. Look at my elbow. It's all like this. So it's tiring. Yes, we're almost done. I think we're good. I'm happy with this. So yes, that's how I repot my plants in general. And as you notice, I always use my bare hands because I want to fill the soil and I want to fill the plants. Especially if your plant is really, really small like this, you want to handle it with care. So I don't mind being dirty because you can wash it anyway. So yes guys, isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she lovely? Look at this. This is quite new leaf as well. And you can compare. This one is a bit lighter. This one is light. And this one here is darker. And look at the foliage. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at the spots there. Super nice, diba? So ganda. So yes, I'm so happy that I actually, you know, took the courage to buy this plant. I'm so glad I did buy this. So yes, she's thriving very, very well. And I'm so proud of myself also. So yes, I don't want to push that too hard. And again, I'll still use this style. I'm going to use the same trick. So she will be moist all the time. But yeah, after I end this video, I'm just, I will water her as well. And then put her back on this base and I will put her there. I think actually the leaves are growing really tall, so might not fit here anymore. I might put her here on top instead beside my rubber plant which is there that's my rubber plant yes so do you guys have angel wing begonia and how do you care for your angel wing please let me know um, in the description box below because um, yeah I also want to know some of your tips to how you care for them and how big they are right now and do they have any ver any color so yeah let me know so yes i always say so 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 anyway i'm going to end this video and i want to thank you guys so much for clicking this video and watching me I hope you enjoyed this kind of video and I promise to do more of this kind and I will see you in the next one. Bye!